I'm Danielle Wendell and today I'm starting an order of Christmas ornaments. Thankfully it's a pretty simple process to share with you guys and I'm going to include the patterns for these in the video description for you to print off and make it yourself. So I'm using three to four inch wood slices. I actually cut and dry these myself with branches that I found lying around my neighborhood. If you're able to do this, I feel like the wood tends to be way more special and unique, but that's not always an option. And you can buy wood slices from Amazon, or you can simply cut out the circle on any type of wood that you think would be pretty as an ornament. I have a fairly large order. So to save some time, I'm going to stack cut these and do two at a time. Because they're small, I find that the easiest way to do this is to just wrap masking tape around two to attach them and then glue the pattern right on top. On all of these designs, I'll be cutting out only the black parts. Of course, in order to do this, I'm gonna start by drilling a pilot hole somewhere in the black to start my blade. Because I'm cutting two ornaments at once, I'll be using a number five modified geometry blade. But if I was cutting out only one at a time, I would probably choose a number three, especially with the very delicate features found on the deer. I think that of all the designs, this one is probably the hardest just because of the antlers. So I just want to point out that when I cut out the antlers, I won't actually be turning my blade around. I'm just going to be cutting in with my blade and then backing it out. So when it comes to the offshoots, they're only going to be as thick as my blade. In fact, a lot of these designs have small and intricate details. I find it helpful to cut out the bulk of the shapes first and then save those tiny bumps and offshoots for the end. And don't be afraid to attack corners from both sides rather than having to turn your blade with every small curve if that's intimidating for you. Once cut, I sand with a 400 grit to give it a really smooth finish, blow off all the dust with my air compressor, and then coat it with Danish oil. You can always drill a hole for string, but I prefer to use these eye hooks so as not to take away from the ornament itself. Plus it makes the ornaments hang in a better direction. I finish it off with some twine and my ornaments are ready for a tree. If you want some more scroll saw projects, you can check out my fall projects and patterns right here or subscribe to my channel for more. Thanks for watching and happy scrolling.